So I want to say, after I boiled the peelings that we kept, the first batch of jelly that I did the other day, I had seven pints. Now I will have nine pints, so we've got a total of 16 pints of jelly out of just peelings that I boiled. Well, the last of my jelly is in the water bath canner, and I just filled a big half gallon jar of regular oats for our um, cereal or for our protein bites. And it looks like I could have probably got a little bit more in there, but that's okay because I'm going to make some granola. Um, here we've got our crackers done, and I've still got more crackers to do. The varieties of candies that have been on the shelf, the chocolate chips, the nuts, and we've got some chocolate-covered caramels. We've got more stuff over here, and I still have a whole lot more. To use my food saver on. This is just my little workstation right now and my jelly's about done another 15 minutes and I'll be um, completely done with making apple cinnamon jelly and that's one more thing to cross off my list but I need to find more jars. Well I've been in the kitchen making jelly Cowboy's been out here and made a whole wall. 40 foot long. I brought him a glass of water. I am hungry for homemade pizza. So I'm mixing up my homemade pizza crust. And it's a very simple recipe. And here it is. It's very simple, very easy. And normally I would probably have out some hamburger to make it a meat pizza, but you know, I wasn't really planning on it ahead, so I'm just gonna make us a pepperoni and cheese pizza. It's weekend, right? I may need to add a little more flour. And then I will let this rise for about 20 minutes and it'll be ready to go on my pans. So we've got one pizza in the oven and I've got two more almost done. This one's done. It's got some sausage, breakfast sausage and um, cheese and pepperoni and this one will be the same. These two are going to go into my freezer for another weekend. Maybe, maybe Super Bowl. Who knows? But anyway. It was a good day. I was hungry for pizza, and I'm just throwing it together with what I've got, and I'll cover these up, and these will both go in the freezer. So one pizza is in the oven, and here's two big pans of pizza ready to bake, and they will go to the freezer. I love having freezer meal. I wish I could just spend a full week of making freezer meals because they are so handy. But then again, I'd need a whole freezer just for the meals, which would not be all bad. Well, our pizza's done. Half of it's pepperoni, half of it's pepperoni and sausage. Let's check the crust underneath. Looks like it got dark enough. So I'm about to go call Cowboy in. So this Saturday's been pretty good productive day for both of us and it's getting later on in the day that I think it's about time to quit enjoy what we've got done um, I thought about canning um, some dry beans but that's another day I've got my jelly done with um, let's see I got six uh, uh, nine pints of jelly and I've got a lot of jars sealed with the uh, food saver. Swing you around here and you can see the, the jelly. And a lot of those jars over at the food saver saved up. 
So we've done really good today. It's time to take the rest of the weekend off and enjoy. Well, it's been a pretty good day on our homestead. We've got a little bit accomplished. We both were doing our own thing. Cowboy was busy working in his shop. And I'll head over there before I go back in the house because he was in a little bit ago to have a piece of pizza, homemade pizza that I just made. And he says he's got the wall up. Go figure. That man, he is a worker. And if there's a will, there's a way. And he'll get it done. So we'll head over that way after I gather eggs and take another picture of what he's doing in the shop. For now, I'm just out gathering eggs, um, checking on the water for the chickens and making sure they've all got some grain but it's been a good day cowboy did his wall the framing and i did some apple jelly apple cinnamon jelly i did homemade pizza one for our supper and i froze two in the freezer for freezer meals and i think i'm going to take the rest of the saturday off but um it's been a good day. Good day for both of us. And I want to thank you for popping on, following us today, and for subscribing. I appreciate that. We're just getting raw footage here on our, our channel. No fancies, no editing. It's just the way it is. It's the only way I know how. And so if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe and maybe sharing it, maybe commenting below or giving us a thumbs up we sure appreciate it another thing i want to tell you if you're new to my channel and you're not on our our facebook page we've got a really good facebook page going too and it's called prairie girl farm and we've got we're getting close to three thousand people over there and that's pretty exciting lots of good folks um so join us over there on facebook it's called prairie girl farm and just enjoy it's just our way of life and cowboy and i we've just agreed to share it a little bit for those that can't live this life anymore or can't live it at all maybe they've lived it and it's too hard now maybe they long for it and maybe it's on your your bucket list um, we're just sharing a few of the ways that we do here on our homestead on a daily basis, how we live our life. We long and strive for the simpler life more and more all the time as we are getting older. And we are retired cattle ranchers. Um, Cowboy will be 70 in the spring and it's just time for him to slow up. So that's why we've picked this place. When we started it, there was nothing here. We've done it from scratch. We've done most of it ourselves. Um, we grow a big garden. We can. We will butcher deer, chickens. Um, not a big beef anymore, but we will butcher, you know, a small beef. Um, we do a lot of preserving. We've got a root cellar. And just together, we usually try to strive and get it done. We have a few Jersey cows, the chickens, we have the goats, and in the spring we'll be having baby goats, baby calves, and some baby foals. Cowboy has um, halflinger horses, and so we've got a few of those, and as you can hear, you can hear my donkey. That's Pedro. Pedro is going to be the new guard animal for our goats. He was our baby from last year born, and we decided to keep him, and he will be raised with our goats for a guard animal for the coyotes and whatever else comes around and we still have his mama and we have another one called patches so possibly late next summer we'll have another baby donkey i'm hoping two but maybe for sure one so anyway we're just going to wrap this up and call it a night and we're ready to enjoy our sunday tomorrow take care folks god bless Thanks for joining us. We love you all. Be safe. So this is my old coop. And we've been leaving the door open now. Just so 
the cats can get in here and keep the mice population down. And it was a place for these naughty chickens that will not stay in the chicken coop. And so I've got like two of them that are three. And I'm just going to check. Yep, there's an egg. I can see one egg way over here. So, I guess they like this little old coop, but I'm still a little bit leery of mice. <laughs> if you hear me scream, that's why, because we have had mice in here, but I think now that it's been open, um, the cats have taken care of that problem for us, but this whole floor is about to cave in. It's so rotten, it's so old. I've had this coop for a long time, and... I'll still use it. We may eventually redo the floor, make it safe. The big box over here, I use for baby chicks in the spring. I have my heat lamp, I will set that under here. And this gives them a bigger space to um, stay in, away from everybody else, away from cats. I can raise them till they're too big and they start jumping out of this box. Uh, you know, it lays down on the floor under the light, and then they go into this room. From here, they go out the coop into a smaller run where they are next to my full-size chickens, so they can get adjusted through the fence before I mix them all together. So, I still love my old coop. It's little, it's old, it's, it's pretty tough shape, but... It's still good. So there's our pretty hen. Some folks think she should go for a puzzle picture. And you know she probably would do pretty good. With the colors of the straw, the colors of her feathers, that would be quite the puzzle. I believe she is a Americana or a, she's an Easter Egger. I'm not sure exactly what breed she is anymore. I would have to definitely look way back and look at papers. And she's possibly one that is a crossbred that we raised too, so I'm not sure. I really like our uh, Lavender Orpingtons there in the sun. They're pretty silver. So we're going to check for eggs and it looks like we've got more over here. Put my basket down. I usually don't wash my eggs because then they keep longer. I don't like to wash that bloom off. If they're really dirty, I'll wash them before I use them. But for the most part, if I keep my nest strawed and they don't break them, they stay fairly clean, as you can see. And this, I would say, is from a chocolate marin which is this girl right here. Yes, aren't you a pretty girl? You're pretty. So we got a few eggs today. It almost looks like Easter for the colors. I'm going to turn around and see if we can get the rooster on camera. There's the two uh, lavender, lavender Orpingtons. 
Here's one of my roosters. Most of them are all outside right now. They're all hanging out at the water hole. I need to fill that again. Looks like it needs a cleaning. We'll put the basket down and see what they do. They usually don't break them. They just kind of look at it like, what is this? Is it anything to eat? Sorry about that. I think it went blank. <laughs> like I said, it's raw footage. I was trying to downsize it, and I don't know what I did. But you're just hanging out with me in the chicken coop. Nothing fancy. And it's just the way it is. Right, girls? So I'm done for the night. Everybody take care. So my old porch is my main entrance gate into my garden. My garden is behind. And someday we'll sit on this old porch and we'll chat. But today it's kind of windy out and it's quitting time. So join me another day on my porch and we'll chat. So we're going to check on Cowboy, see how his day went. Mm. Wow. Yeah. He's got the whole wall up. He's getting ready to put the roof on. We'll have storage up above. So you got to see Cowboy working in his shop. He's getting that room all ready to put um, sheeting on. He'll have a roof on it. There's our garden over there. We've got weed fabric down on most of the three gardens over there. Up in the right-hand corner by the birdhouses, we have an orchard of plums and apples. And we won't be working out in this garden till <laughs> close to June. We've got a long ways to go.